Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UI Path by Sujita. In this video, we are going to uh, learn about APIs, basic concepts of uh, API calls in UI Path. If you are a beginner and if you are going to learn about the UI Path API calls, this is the better best video for you to learn from the alphabet. Okay, so what is an API? Let's start with this. Please make a note of what you are go going to uh, understand through this video so that it will be easy for you to refer when you are really applying these uh, information. Okay. So what is an API? API. It's application programming interface. Okay, the full form of API is Application Programming Interface. So, as the name says, it works as an interface in order to program with an application. Okay, so it allows you to communicate or to interact with two or more applications. Very simple, right? So, this is a means which allows to communicate with two or more applications okay very simple right now you can ask this question sujita fine this is fine like why we use apis right knowingly or unknowingly we are in a world where many APIs are around us. Whatever we uh, do through our uh, digital uh, gadgets, say for example from our mobile or through our laptop or computer, whatever applications we are uh, checking, I mean using in our day-to-day -day life, everything works through these APIs. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you a best example. As soon as you open a browser, if you want to search for any video in YouTube, what you give? You'll be uh, navigating to www.youtube.com, right? So how, as soon as you give that address, how, how it is landing, on, landing you on to the uh, YouTube page? No, right? You, you have no answer. It is just because of APIs. Maybe when you want to go to uh, Facebook, or if you want to book any ticket or if you want to go to a bank website all these things you, you your starting page might be your browser whether it is a safari or an edge or a google chrome whatever browser you are using but ultimately when you are navigating to any website all these calls are using api behind but for us in front end we may not understand what is going behind but the actual reason actual functionality is through the api calls now clear right now let us learn few more details about these apis so let me give you a clear example saying let, let us just make a note youtube bank websites okay uh, maybe facebook all other websites okay will works on these api calls now let us make a note of why why we use api by now you should understand this right we already discussed this to exchange data or to transform the data right so we, in order to exchange the data between the client and server exchange data between client and server right what is our client here in the past uh, example whatever we discussed client is the browser and the server 
is the actual server say suppose Facebook or YouTube etc okay so when we want to use youtube.com we are using the browser through some URL that means we are passing some address which is nothing but that www.youtube.com and then how it is working it is going and hitting that server and fetching the relevant data or the required data back to you okay now let us see how this is working okay how as I said when we give a URL or a web address what are these if these two terms are new to you I'll explain you URL it is uniform resource loader we already discussed right resource we are I mean browser is going and hitting the resource in the server that means in the computer I'm, I mean to say in the server there could be n number of resources say for example Facebook YouTube or uh, your uh, uh, what to say ba bank website whatever whatever you use okay in order to identify the proper resource we need some address right like how we will be providing our pin code or your actual address if you are going to post a letter okay the same way we are instructing the browser by passing a URL so this URL is used by the browser in order to identify the actual resource from the server okay got it so this works as A unique reference to a web resource a unique reference to a web resource why we use this to identify the exact location from the computer network got it so URL works as a unique reference to a web resource to identify the exact location on the computer network and where we are using this on any browser okay on our client fine got it now how it works it works as soon as you give www.youtube.com what it is doing what what is the functionality uh, happening behind your web page it is going and checking for this particular resource in the computer network what is this called it is called as HTTP request okay browser is requesting the computer network using this URL okay let me give you a clear understanding on this HTTP request it is always important to understand the basic terminology before you jump on to a new process say API calls in a UI path ok it, it, it might be a very simple call or it might be a very simple process in UI path but behind the scene these terms these terminology is what we need okay without having this basic knowledge it, it, it's of no worth to know uh, about the API calls or the usage in the API, uh, UI path okay so that is the reason I just want you to understand these terminologies and understand the process what it is happening behind this your web calls okay now HTTP request as the name says it is the request made by the client I said right it is the request which is made by the client to a host on the server a request made by the client to the host on the server 
what is its agenda main main aim to get some response right so what are the parts of the http how how it is requesting what what is what it has as i already said it will be having the url it will have wait let me give you a clear yeah the url then it will be containing the request method and then it will be containing the body or the parameters fine and if it has some authentication okay so now let us see one by one url we already learned it's a uniform resource loader say for example www.youtube.com okay now request method what is this you already know this but you don't know the terminology that's it it's a get or a post or put or delete fine there are many request methods we'll discuss about this in our upcoming videos okay next body or the parameters when you want to get some data you might need to pass some parameter values so that the uh, what to say the request the http request will use this parameters as filter options instead of getting the thousand data what whatever the huge data enormous huge data it it will filter to some extent based on your need and it will fetch say for example in your youtube.com you might be passing the channel name as ui path by suchita that means you are filtering there itself and getting back only the data related to this particular channel okay this is all will be a part of your parameter or the body of the request okay next authentication are you authorized to access this url or not if it is a public url fine if it is not a public i mean if it is a paid one you are supposed to get the key or the authentication username password okay we'll let you know in detail how to use this in ui path okay for now just keep this in mind that we have something called http request and all these are the components of the http request now when you are using this http request why we are using this what is this http request first of all i said when we open a browser we are giving www.youtube.com that means we are requesting the browser to go and fetch the particular web page right this is nothing but a http request now as a response what we are getting back we are getting back the youtube home page if we are not giving any filtered parameters this this is what if we are not giving any parameters as to filter you are getting a home page right with all the content now what is that called that is called as http response okay http response let me yeah i hope you are no, making a note of what we are discussing so far now you can guess this right this is the response to the client made by the resource right it's re reversed right say for example if you are if you have browser and if you have the server when you are requesting from the browser to the server that is called http request and the response which is coming from the server to your browser is called the http response okay now the components what it will contain it will contain the response code and the response code what is this it might be something called 200 okay 
or maybe for not one something okay we'll talk about this later in the actual usage okay now response is the actual response what you requested maybe uh, a data which is in json format okay or an xml fine i hope this is clear for a quick understanding i can show you this as well so we have something called client that means running a browser and something called a server where we have lot many resources like youtube facebook bank your bank website and other applications related data in this server now the http request is something called you are running the browser and the server it is re re giving a response back to the browser with the required data and it will show that data as a pictorial representation in your home page okay so this is the entire process of this api usage now in our next session we are going to demonstrate the usage of api calls in ui path for quick reference i'll show you a simple thing now quickly go to your ui path studio go to activities panel and type for http request so you will you will be having one activity called http request under web okay if it is not visible go to manage packages and then official go to official panel and then type ui path dot web this is the package to install in order to get this http request related activities okay fine we'll come we'll uh, do one demo i mean use case using these activities and the and how to use the api calls its components everything in our next video thank you so much for your support so far for this channel till then please keep watching our videos and happy automating bye bye